A Fort Smith businessman is continuing his fight for his marijuana cultivator license. This after a state official decided Monday to revoke the permit. River Valley Relief Cultivation employs 75 people and says it's invested $8 million in its operation. But now that business is in danger of closing. Arkansas business editor Lance Turner is here with the latest and Lance, the alcoholic beverage control director revoked the license at a hearing on Monday. What happened? Well, Erica, the ABC scheduled the hearing after a Pulaski County judge found in early November that the State Medical Marijuana Commission and the ABC had acted, quote, unreasonably and unlawfully when it awarded River Valley the state's final cultivator license back in 2020. That decision came in a lawsuit by a company called 2600 Holdings of Little Rock, which had sued state regulators saying that it should have received that license instead. 2600 won that case, and in his order, Judge Herbert Wright Jr., told regulators to take steps to remedy the situation, essentially to strip River Valley of its license. And so the ABC set that hearing on Monday to do that very thing. So we know at that hearing, River Valley's owner, Storm Nolan, was able to present his case for keeping the license. What did he say? Well, that's right. You know, Nolan had actually tried to intervene in 2600's lawsuit against state regulators, but the judge denied that request twice, saying that Nolan had simply waited too long to intervene. But on Monday, he was finally able to respond to the judge's findings in that case. The judge found that Nolan's grow operation was too close to a school, which would violate the law. Uh, but that operation was actually a county juvenile detention facility, and Nolan testified that he never had any indication that the facility would be considered a school. And in fact, he and his team had confirmed that the facility was not operated by a public school district. The judge also found that a corporate name change for Nolan's business had rendered the application ineligible for the license. But Nolan pointed out that he had paid a $15,000 fine to the ABC for that error. And so the fact that he would lose his license license later would would essentially mean he was being pub, uh, punished twice for the same offense, which, of course, he said was unfair. Of course, this all happened yesterday at the hearing. The big question is what happens next? Well, so none of those arguments by Nolan changed the mind of ABC director Dora Lee Chandler. Uh, and the judge, of course, during his during that case had accused Chandler of showing too much deference to Nolan throughout that original application process. But on Monday, after 45 minutes of Nolan and his team's testimony, uh, Chandler took only five minutes to decide that that license should be revoked. So N Nolan says that now he will appeal that decision uh, and that action could come up at the, at the ABC board's next meeting on December. December 21st. Nolan is also appealing Judge Wright's decision. He's taking that to the state Supreme Court. So we'll see next if the court decides to hear that case. All right. Thanks so much for the update, Lance. We appreciate it. And of course, you can read more about this case online at ArkansasBusiness.com.